This is Hollywood. Matthias Bombal with you. Relativity Media offers us a romantic and sad love story, The Best of Me, produced by Denise DiNovi, often a producer for Tim Burton's movies. And here, though, you'll find none of that Burton touch. In fact, it is a very handsome production, largely due in part to the photography of Oliver Stapleton and the production design of Patricia von Brandenstein. Based on a romance novel by Nicholas Sparks, the movie stars James Marsden, Alice Dawson, and Michelle Monaghan as Amanda, teen sweethearts that encounter each other many years later. Amanda? Dawson? I'm sorry, I'm all uh, messed up. <laughs> How did you find out? I got a call from a lawyer. Something in Tuck's will. I'm supposed to meet with him tomorrow. 10 a.m.? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Oh. It's been a long time. 20 years. Yeah. Well, 21, but I mean, who's counting? <laughs> you look amazing. I gotta go. I'm, I'm late. Meeting my mom. I'm gonna meet her. Oh, all right. At her house. Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. The movie starts off with a bang, quite literally, when the oil rig Dawson is working on explodes, throwing him into the water. But he survives to return to his hometown when he hears news of the passing of a close friend that encouraged him through his difficult teen years, which were fraught with abuse from his white trash father. Through a series of flashbacks, the story of the complex relationship of Dawson and Amanda unfolds. Socially awkward, Dawson is aggressively courted by Amanda in their teen years, but she finally gets her man. We need a song. In case one of us gets deployed in World War III. No, I'm serious. It's something we can keep forever. Then pick one. There's nothing romantic about picking one. First song that comes on quick. We're in the middle of nowhere. We're not gonna get anything. And even if you do get something, it's gonna be a public broadcast on Flyfish. Why are you always right? I guess it's just a gift. Look at you. I've been practicing. With who? Talk. That's Miss Liana Liberato and Luke Bracey as the young Amanda and Dawson. The movie, for the most part, I would imagine, is directed at the avid reader of the romance novel. And for that audience, along with teenage girls, it should be a nice date movie. There are some effective performances other than our leads, especially from Gerald McRaney, who you may remember from Simon and Simon. He plays Tuck, who fosters Dawson. There's a very creepy performance from Sean Bridgers as Dawson's white trash father and one new young actor, Robbie Rasmussen, had the chance to play two roles, a young father and later in the story, that same man's son. 
The adult leads in the present day sequences are good with the material, although the camera does seem to linger long on Mr. Marsden to please the target audience. What? Why are you laughing? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just... I miss this. I miss... You getting all mad at me. I'm not mad. Being a little pushy. I'm not pushy. You just care so much, Amanda. You just can't help yourself. I should go. What? This is dangerous. We've had wine, and somehow you have gotten better looking, which is so annoying. Couldn't you have gotten bald or fat or something? Jeez. Methinks she protesteth too much. The Best of Me has not been rated by the Motion Picture Association of America at the time of this review. It is directed by Michael Hoffman. This is your pal, Matthias Bohm-Bell. Bidding you a fond farewell. <laughs>